Hello there, morons. It's Victor. Give me a break, man. Give me a flake, man. On the streets of Nagoya at 8.45 p.m. I've got the mic on my neck, but I do not have a dead cat. I hope it's not too windy. I don't go that fast. Should be okay. Uh, tonight, I'd like to show you how smooth the ride can be on a bicycle. However, I'd like to point out something to you. Let's see if I can show you with this truck here. We'll use this truck as an example. My reflection in the truck. Oh, here, here's a mirror. See the mirror? That's me, can you guys see me? See, that's me. How awkward do I look? Quite awkward, right? Yes. By the way, look at, the, look at the way that car is. It's like in there, that's weird, huh? It's like a depressed, part of, depressed parking lot. So, as you just saw, I'm wearing the GoPro on my head and it is not smooth at all. I look quite dorky. This is the price that we have to pay, the fashion price, right? But if I had a drone, it would not look this way, would it? If I had a drone, I would be sailing above these people as if they were nothing. But unfortunately, that is not the case. And that's why I'm making the video tonight. I'd like to talk to you about my friend Scott, who runs a drone channel here in Japan. And he's been very kind enough to send us a collection. I don't know if it's a collection so much, just a, well, a clip, a clip that he put together for us to introduce his channel. It's really, really cool. And I'm very, very jealous. I have to, do, I have to be honest with you. I don't get jealous quite easily. I think jealous is a very bad, uh, emotion to have it does nothing but destroy you and make other people see how petty and small you are however I got to tell you guys that I am very jealous of Scott for his drone it is so cool and I want it but I can't have it uh, unless everyone donates a lot of money to me <laughs> half joking half not anyway but uh, yeah, before I sauna, sign, sign off for tonight, I'll show you a bit of Nagoya. Oh. Are the foreigner taking pictures there? Let me see, which way should we go? Which way should we go? Let's straight, let's go straight. Oh, look at this guy. What's this guy doing? A lot of people taking pictures, huh? huh. Interesting. <laughs> All these people taking pictures, what's going on here? Oh, you don't? Oh, sorry. Do you know what's happening tonight? Everyone's taking pictures tonight. I just noticed like five people taking pictures. Oh, okay. Where are you from? San Francisco. Okay. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, just two tours. Enjoy. What do you know? An Asian who doesn't speak Japanese. It's a crime. Now look, a bow-legged Asian. Two of them. Say shima. Okay, okay. We're going, entering the very crowded area. So there you go. Maybe a good time to sign off, but see how awkward and difficult this is? If I had a drone, I could be sailing above these people. Of course, a drone would be illegal in this uh, town. So actually, let's talk about that very briefly.
Hey everybody, I just wanted to say thank you. If you're interested in watching more of my Japan stuff, uh, go check out the Chillin' Kansai channel. If you are interested in watching more of the aerial video about and in Japan, go check out uh, Fly Japan CO. I just want to say a big thank you to Victor for letting me guest on his channel. Make sure that you leave a big thumbs up down below so that this video can be seen far and wide. And uh, again, thank you, Victor, and I will talk to the rest of you later. There was a drone law passed approximately a month ago in Tokyo that made it oh, illegal for people to have drones in public parts in Tokyo. And apparently, although there's, there's no national law on the books yet, uh, everyone who's interested in drones, of course, is worried that they're going to pass drones that outlawing uh, they're going to pass laws outlawing drones completely and that would suck for everybody who has a drone but the other weird thing about this law is that because of that the other question is should i buy a drone now while it's still legal which is what some people are thinking or or should I wait to see what happens with the law and buy a drone later? That is the question at hand. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? I've been looking at a couple of them. One of them is the Lily, which apparently is a self, it's a great like blogging loan because it just follows you and it can stay up to just two meters away, I believe, which is the perfect length for me. I could have it like right out here. It could just be two meters ahead of me as I bicycle through town which of course and uh and, uh, you know I could I can tell the look I think I can tell it tell it how high to go and how far ahead of me to go and it can also follow me so you can lead or follow I guess and uh, the other option is uh, something called a solo which is a more expensive drone and neither of these drones are out actually which is the worst part because I don't know you know the reviews are a bit sketchy I don't know which ones are actually available right now. So I don't know which one. You know. Because the Lily, the Lily, I've seen a lot of, a lot of the Lily is from, from what, what the advertisement that Lily puts out on their own drone is great. It makes it makes you cream your pants if you're if you get off on drones. But <laughs> that one's great. It's a great promotion. But uh, I've seen another vlog or another video that is, I should say. And they have the drone, the Lily, uh, what, inventor, trying to get his drone to work, and it's not working. And the guy says, this would be great if it worked. <laughs> you know, and you gotta, and I can't order something from the States and have, have it not work. And the other option is the Solo, which looks like it might work, but also costs $1,000. Oh, let me explain. If you order the Lily now before June 15th, it only costs $500. But you know, $500 in the toilet is <laughs> still $500 in the toilet if it doesn't work. The, uh, the Solo costs $1,000 if you pre-ordered. They don't guarantee when it will arrive though. They say orders will be filled as they're made. So, you know, first come, first serve kind of thing. And again, I haven't really seen a lot of evidence on that camera on how good it is on, on that drone that is. So I don't know how good it is. So I'd let you know, I'd rather, I guess I'd rather spend a thousand bucks on something that I know is gonna work rather than f save $500 on something. That may or may not work. I guess that's what I'm saying. Anyway, that's about it for now. I'm gonna take this off in a good place. Here's a good place to say goodbye. Turn it around and say, thanks for watching guys. And go sub to this channel, check them out, okay? Thanks for watching, talk to you guys soon.